Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of D&D 5e TV. Today we are going to review, kind of do a little walkthrough of 5th edition character sheet right here. So this is it. It's a, there's a lot of character sheet generators out there. And for those of you that want to have an electronic version, whether you just don't play that much or possibly you're a dungeon master and you want to uh, have NPCs on hand or create NPCs really quickly, uh, well, this is a great application for that. Now, it's available for iPad and iPhone. Um, now, the one thing that I really like about this, it's simple. Now, there's no flashes like Game or Fight Club. They have one. Uh, it's a little more labor-intensive to develop a character, but uh, this has a lot of automated features that makes it quick and easy to have uh, a character in just minutes. So let's check it out here. You've got, let's do an overview of the screen. So uh, you've got everything up here, your, all your basic stats right there. That's all you need. Right here, it goes into some of your uh, proficiencies. And since we don't have a, real, a character done yet, you can't really see all of this right here, but this is where the, or your weapons would be. And cantrips and spells would be on this page. And this right here has got all your other information. Equipment you can update for gold and all your uh, notes, everything you need on that. So let's do this. Let's start a new character. We'll probably have to uh, select character, new character, and now using the character creator. This is actually a really handy tool. So we're going to click yes on this, and we're just going to go with what they have right on here for simplicity's sake. Uh, it looks like we've got, well, just a dwarf, hill dwarf, cleric, alkalite. So we hit next. Now these are the ability scores. You can see here that's got all of this. Of it. You can either customize it. You can, and it's already got your racial status, your racial, st excuse me, racial stat bonus, it, right in there. So let's go ahead and do a roll here. So it rolled for us. Eh, there you go. We go next. So choose two skill proficiency. It just has you pick them right there. Let's do medicine and history, and choose a domain. Let's go with the uh, life domain. Leather armor, we'll do scale mail. How about, how about some chain mail on him? All right, the name, let's do this. Dwarf. And we apply, so that's it. Right there, you've got a character. Now let's take a look at this. It's already got all your modifiers built in to your stats, your armor class, your proficiency bonus, your hit dice, initiative, speed, everything you need right there. Your hit points are already done. All of these are already filled in. There's a couple of weapons. You got a mace and a light crossbow. You can add new ones. You can change these up however you want. Right here are your spells. So it already shows you the two spells. It just chose them for you, Blessing Cure Wounds. And it shows you your spell slots. Now a cool thing about this is that you can, uh, if you don't have it prepared, you can do that. If you do have it prepared, you can do that. Now if you want to use a spell slot, it'll have you cast a level in spell. You can apply it and then it'll take down your spell slots. So it's really handy. Uh, for other spells, you just type it in. You just hold down a new one and, and you can type in the spell or you can remove a spell. So basically that's uh let's get this down here. All right, cancel. All right, so yeah, you can pretty much add in any of the spells that you like. All right, so this automatically loads in your features, which is a really great feature. So it has all this for your race and for the, well, basically everything that's about your character up to your level. Armor proficiencies, weapon proficiencies, tools, all that stuff. Basic equipment, you're going to want to go in and change some of this. Gives you basic gold. You can customize this any way you want. There you go. So, <clears throat> one thing with this, if you want to save, this is very important. If you want to save this character, before you shut down the app, you need to go here and go to select character and just do that name level any changes you make before you do that will be lost so you just want to select that that kind of puts it in I, I call it like a screensaver mode that's just they, they don't have like a a save button that would be great um, you can do a lot of things with this over here you can delete a character select a character you can level up short long rest there's some settings in here import and export so let's do this let's level up because this is really cool we can level up oh we gotta Let's, let's bring out Dorf here. We're going to select the character. There he is right there. All right. So now we want to level him up. We'll level him up into Cleric. Boom. There you go. Automatically leveled you up. 
Now, it really didn't do anything because, you know, it's level two. There's not many changes. But let's do another level up here, and I'll show you what this does. Once we hit level four, one more level. Boom. All right. This one, select one or two ability scores to increase. See, there we go. Let's do a little bit of uh, charisma. And let's do, oh, he probably needs some more wisdom. All right, levels you up right there. So now as you level up, I'm going to do it again. And let's just go one more. Six level cleric. Seven, and let's go to eight. All right. Again, another ability score increased. So there you go. Now we're level eight. Everything has changed. We've got these additional spell areas that you can uh, open up and see what spells they chose for you. And you've got all the features right there loaded in. So there you go. It's just really great. I think it's a um, pretty easy to learn application. And it comes in really handy. I tend to take my iPad with me on one-off games or maybe games that we just we get together maybe once a month or once every couple of months. And I just keep the character in there. And then I also save on my photo, on my photo roll, my camera roll there, a picture of the character. And if you have any other notes, you can add them right into here. So this is it. This is the uh, fifth edition character sheet app. It's available for iPad and iPhone. I highly recommend it. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next time. D&D &D 5e TV.